defence beautifully. Beck Lynch back there, a great half-back defender, and Beck Miller really key to their success. Underway at the Swinburne Centre. Kelly looking to get out the front. Egan losing her footing. Wales got it up to West. Breed has come back to terra firma from last week in Darwin. Conti flings it wide. Was hoping for Dempsey that won't be forthcoming. And now the Hawks try and get to work in their half, who launches. And because the Hawks have set up defensively, it bounced off the chest of Richardson, and Brennan goes boom and finds Yasir. Nothing forward of this contest. Ball security perhaps works for both teams in that circumstance. Brennan flying through, wants to keep it in motion. It comes out the back to Greiser, looking for a right or a teammate. It worked its way to Brennan, put on the right. Ties things up at a point each. That's Richmond now with just two inside 50s. Gave it up to Breed, who tries to wind her way around on the right. It got over the head and somehow at the back, McDonough can just leave it. Oh no! Richmond get one into the breeze. It's twice now we've seen midfielders from Richmond be able to find that space inside forward 50. So. Hawthorne really keen on flooding defensively back to the goal square, so it's opening up those little pockets. So if you're going to give Kate Dempsey and the, the likes of the Richmond midfielders those opportunities, eventually they will make you pay. Both teams' wings having an influence. Hicks to the outstretched hands of McKenzie. Quick to reference, speaking of wings, Shevlin in vacant turf can capitalise. that Hawthorne are sitting fifth in the league for. So Richmond with numbers deep. Tamluk the spare. Smith will kick it to the traffic. Luke got hands to it. It'll come free for McDonough. Bodie, Ashmore. Hicks careful not to just sit on top of the former line. And a stoppage, as you can hear. Bit under two and a half minutes left. Gilroy trying to get a fly up. Lynch's kick spirals through Greiser. Richardson's back after it. Brennan's after her. Great pressure from the Tigers skipper. Egan versus Fleming. Dalloway. Free kick. Gilroy plays on, takes the advantage. That's pristine. It was good pressure all around the ground from both teams and then that tackle there. That's what affected it. It was Eliza West laying the tackle and then Aileen Gilroy taking the advantage and then we like that. Kemp, former D, been around a successful system and playing in one right now. Sheeran gives away the free. It was subtle at best to Elliott. Frustration building amongst the Tiger faithful. Dalloway wanted Hicks. A hand in, though. Opens the door for the Hawks. Breed pinpoints McDonough. It's their sole piece of rebound that generates their best look. Yeah, but they're such good ball users and good movers with the footy that sometimes if they're able to open up the ground, it actually works more in their favour. So entry after entry makes it a little bit more congested. No protection from the stands for Anya McDonough. No problems. Fox with their second. But just gave away the free. It's going to come back through Lynch. Smith intercepts. Did show plenty of that kick. Good pressure from Ryan, who's back into the team for the Tigers, but Elliot could mark. Her kick is poor. So they're going to take their time here. They've got to either give it to someone on a lead and work out where the best option is, or be able to lock the ball inside their front half or their forward 50 for a little bit of time here. And it's a build the ball up scenario, but instead Brennan is just going to charge Kelly. Fist from Richardson, fortuitous leader Bodie, had more time than she thought. Hicks, dancing feet, Conti, blessed with those. Waits, spaces it, Lynch in her 50th. That will inspire the Tigers!
prior to the Elliott kick out on the full, or just after, we spoke about Richmond building the ball up. That time, they were able to just change some possession, finally get something happening inside their fourth half. And it's a familiar surname to be kicking goals, but more in the AFL than the AFLW. Beth Lynch, that's a fantastic finish. Out for Shevlin, kick one to this end in the second. Richardson missed the target. Sheeran. Lucas Rod. Fist in though from Dempsey on Gilroy who turned around. Dalloway overthinking things. Ball first. Slapping at Dempsey. Up to Conti like a game of chance to Yasir. And you see him make the most of her moment here. Richmond's second leading goal kicker last season with 10. 8-3 this year. Tigers in front. Tigers in front for the first time since Aileen Gilroy kicked Hawthorne's first late in the second. Out the front again. Bates, West, Fleming. Right names getting involved for the Hawks. Over the hands and the head of Miller. Hipwell bearing down on the 50 gamer. And the Tigers, while they're dropping for position in the bottom half of the eight, a home elimination final, their reward for victory. 50 game milestones to honour for both Lynch and Miller. It's Lynch kicking and turning it over. Guys, Daniel Webster has come down to coach from the bench. He's just waltzed down. Wales marks on the arc of 50. Playing on. That is unbelievable goal for Williamson. Hicks. Sheeran got it out to Dalloway. Eight inside 50s to six in the term in favour of the Hawks. Bodie will get another look. And find Erdley who had just a metre of separation on Gabby Seymour. A southwesterly direction and there's going to be some work with both the breeze and the angle for Mac Erdley. <laughs> Terrific kick from Erdley. West again to Bates. Miller bounces away. Bodie Looking to get involved once again. She's been electric since dispensed forward and finds West. Not the required territory. Ashmore trapped on her right boot. Free kick. Free kick's coming back to the Hawks. Ashmore dealt with after the kick. And the former Rue and Lion. And that kick's going to be referenced forward. So, Anya McDonough. It's a million dollar kick from McDonough. For the first time today, Hawthorne have really finished off their work. Dempsey checking the mark on Elliott, who slowly plays on. Ball touched. Kelly popped a handball out. Bodie, Ashmore. Graham just didn't need to kick that ball. So the Tigers will have an elimination final. Fremantle and Port Adelaide still with matches to come this Sunday afternoon to complete the home and away season. That will determine the finals matchups. But the Hawks will play their first AFLW final and they will host the reigning champs, no less. Ashmore. <laughs> Here come the Hawks. The fourth term has just been utterly dominant from Hawthorne and Caitlin Ashmore. That's just the little cherry on top to get the party started if you're a Hawthorne fan. That's fantastic. What a withering burst it is. The Hawks with a flashy final term to complete what has been an outstanding home and away season. Exciting part two. There's so many Brisbane Lions in this Hawthorne team. The McClellan Trophy, the million dollars. Bigger prizes await for these Hawks.